Hello, brethren, and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. I have a message for you today from the Lord. And it has three scriptures to go along with it. The first scripture is Romans 12, 9 in the New International Version Bible. It reads, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. The meaning, Paul is describing what it means to live a Christian life. How should we respond to God's great mercy toward us? Paul's first response is that we should figure out what spiritual gifts God has given us and actually use those gifts to save other Christians in the church. The second scripture is Jude 4, 7 in the New International Version Bible. It reads, For certain individuals whose condemnation was written about long ago have secretly slipped in among you. They are ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ our only sovereign and Lord. Though you already know all this, I want you to remind you that the Lord at one time delivered his people out of Egypt, but later destroyed those who did not believe. And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority, but abandoned their proper dwelling, these ha he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. In a similar way, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion. They serve as an example of those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire. The meaning? This passage references Old Testament events to help explain the apostates' sins, the danger they pose, and how the Lord will punish them. Jude references the unbelief of Israel after the Lord delivered them from slavery in Egypt. Rebellious angels, the ungodly people of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the dangers of allowing such people to mingle with other believers. The third scripture is Hebrews 2, 2 through 4. In the New International Version Bible, it reads, For since the message spoken through angels was binding and every violation and disobedience received its just punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard, who heard him. God also testified to it by signs, wonders, and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. The meaning? Since Jesus is God's message to mankind, ignoring him will bring disaster. The writer of Hebrews points out that those who have violated the old covenant suffered punishment. Therefore, those who violate the new covenant can expect consequences. This gospel has been confirmed by witnesses and miracles and needs to be given closer attention by the reader, whether by accident or on purpose, breaking God's laws always results in disaster. Now for the message given on June the 6th, 2021. The tranquility of life as you know it is about to cease. Pray diligently, daily, to be found worthy in the eyes of the Lord your God. Destruction, much destruction, will begin once the Father's hand of protection is lifted. It will take many off guard, for they know not the anger and the dismay of the Holy Father, Father Abba. He sees the evildoers. 
participating in wickedness and cannot allow this to happen much longer. His almighty hand of judgment will strike down in a fist of rage for the evil deeds done in darkness. Repent, my beloved, for you are not subject to my Father's wrath. You are saved by my grace on the cross. My blood will cleanse away all of your sins once you ask me for forgiveness with a contrite heart. My Father and I want you here with us in the glory of heaven, but you must be washed clean from your filthy flesh. Repent on your knees now before me, child. Build an intimate relationship with me, and I will save you from eternal damnation. With undying love, God the Father and Jesus the Savior. So this is a message of a warning message of God's wrath about to come to those who are disobedient to God and the destruction that is at the door and it's a plea to those who are lost and lukewarm to come back to the father and to, to his son Jesus with a contrite heart and ask for forgiveness and that's what the scriptures reveal in Romans speaking about love that it must be sincere and to hate what is evil and cling to what is good in essence it's showing that Paul is describing what it means to be a good Christian and that God we should appreciate God's mercy and live a good Christian life and use our gifts to help other Christians live a good Christian life. In Jude, it talks about condemnation, that ungodly people pervert the grace of God and they deliberately disobeyed him and they saw what the consequences were, which were back in after um, he freed the slaves out of Egypt, then the perversion that took place at Sodom and Gomorrah, that he destroyed both cities and the surrounding areas. And that uh, this serves as an example of God's punishment for people who are, who are living ungodly lives and living in perversion and, and sexual immorality. In Hebrews, talks about the salvation that God offers through his son dying on the cross and that the not abiding by God's grace and mercy and just ignoring his everlasting love towards us can result in disaster that breaking God's laws always has consequences and that you should be thankful if, as a good Christian for God's mercy and abide by his rules and laws if you want to be saved from eternal damnation. And as the message speaks, God has had enough of all of the sin and perversion, and that he's getting ready to pour out his wrath on those who are the evildoers and the wicked. So this is the message for today. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you have a testimony that one of my videos speaks to you directly, please leave a comment 
under that video in the comments section. If you have any questions or prayer requests, please email me at my email address listed down below in the description box. And I pray for all of my viewers and subscribers, people who have um, watched my channel. I pray for you daily and thank you. And please consider subscribing. Have a great day.